What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about how us truck drivers navigate and what to do, the tools that you'll need to never get lost out here. There's some tips that you can follow that will help you succeed in truck driving. So if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you get any value from this at all, smash that like button. Now let's get into it. What I use to help me navigate and never get lost, number one is an atlas. You don't see many truck drivers using an atlas anymore or not even know how to even use one or even what it is. So I try to teach my trainees what exactly an atlas is and, you, and how to use it. I have other videos speaking to you how to use atlas. I'm not gonna go on that video right in a second, but make sure you get an atlas. If you're not familiar with how to use an atlas, go ahead and go online. I've got videos as other people are teaching. You can pick up an atlas for like $20. It's very handy. Do I use an atlas every day? No. But sometimes I do need an atlas. And if you have an atlas and you know how to use it, you never get lost. You want to understand the bridge code, the bridge laws that are in there. It'll show you state by state the weight restrictions. It'll show you bridges, it'll show you rest areas. It shows you a lot of different things, a lot of knowledge is in this atlas. If you know how to use it, when technology fails, you'll be in a whole much better off situation. Okay, everybody always says, well, I'm gonna get me a good GPS. Okay, that's good. I've got a good GPS. I think it's a great tool to use. Make sure you get a good trucker GPS. Make sure you set it for trucking, not just a car GPS. A lot of people go out there and they get a car GPS and they'll mess and they get messed up. You have to understand that all roads are not just made for trucks. You've got height restrictions, you've got weights, you've got narrow, skinny mountain roads that you just can't go down and you'll get yourself in a lot of trouble. You see these drivers all the time running in these bridges. They listen to a GPS is telling them blindly to go down there. So even though GPSs are good, you still have to read the signs where you're at. That's why I say have an atlas so you can look it up to make sure it's going along with what that GPS is saying. You gotta put two and two together. You can't just blindly follow a GPS. GPS says turn here, and it says no, the road shut down. You're like, oh, I'm turning anyway. I'm gonna go through these barrels. You say, oh, that's crazy, but I see it happen all the time. Make sure you're following your signs and make sure that your GPS is set right and then make sure you're following it back up with the Atlas. Now, you may not have money to get a GPS. I think a GPS is a great tool. I, I use it all the time. If you don't have money to get a GPS, you can use it as an app called Hammer, as an app called Trucking Path. That will also help you navigate down the road just like a GPS. Uh, I have trainees that just start, they, don't, they can't afford a $500 or $600 GPS, so they'll download Hammer on their phone or on a tablet, and then they'll get internet for that tablet. Might be $10 a month or free to add an extra line to your phone service. Add Hammer on there or Trucking Path, and boom, you get your good navigation. And it works. Works just as good as any other GPS. So hopefully that tip will help you out there. Also, when you're going down the road and you're trying to find somewhere to park, that one thing that I use, I go to Love. So I have a Loves app on my phone and it tells me where truck stop, how far I am from the different Loves. But I also have a pocket truck stop guide. You can get them off Amazon for like two bucks. I think the truck stop are like $5. It's a little pocket guide. It tells you every interstate, tells you uh, every exit number, mom and pop truck stops, how many parking are there. You won't believe how many times I use this thing. There's other things out there too, like park my rig. That is another great book that you can get. It's a big, thick book. It tells you like Walmart you can park at and Dairy Queens and McDonald's and ones that's got truck parking. It's all over the United States. I don't have a link for it. I'm not affiliated for none of this stuff. I'm not trying to sell you the product. I'm just trying to give you good links and good navigation tools here. Always plan your route. A lot of drivers I see, they don't go plan their route. They just start driving, listen to the GPS, and then they don't know where they're gonna sleep. They don't know where they're gonna park at, where they're gonna eat, none of that stuff. When I leave, I know I'm gonna try to take a shower at this place. I'm gonna probably eat here, here, here. Them old fat boy right here. I know I'm gonna need that, right? And then I say, okay, I know where I'm gonna sleep. Another thing is you may run out of parking. So you're gonna have to have multiple plans. What's your plan? What's your backup plan? This is how I teach my trainee. Call the shipper. Find out if you can sleep there. Find out if you sleep with the receivers. And sometimes it's better to sleep there. Sometimes it's a bad area. You don't wanna sleep there. But these are things that you gotta think about. So planning your route and planning accordingly. Sometimes you may say, okay, you may have a route that takes you through the mountains. Uh, and if you didn't go to the mountains, it might be another hour and a half away. But if you're planning your route accordingly and it's snowing real bad, you might not want to hit the mountains at all. You may not want to go where the GPS is telling you to go because you know there's a storm coming through because you've been following the weather channel and 
something bad's coming that way, and you're like, ah, I'm going to go this way. That happened before. Years ago, I was taking a run out to Akron, Ohio, and I was starting Atlanta. There's two ways to go. We could go up through Kentucky up 75. That was the shortest route. Or I could go through the West Virginia mountains and cut up that way, which is longer. So I'm watching the weather channel, and I see this big ice storm that's hitting Illinois and coming through Kentucky, but not quite to West Virginia. So what I did is I went ahead and took the chances and went through over the mountains. As soon as I got over the mountains into Ohio, boy, the storm hit, but I made it to my destination. I remember calling my dispatch. This was 14 years ago. I said, hey, I made it, man. Barely the time. He said, it's all right, Sean. It's okay. I know. Nobody made it. They're about 20 trucks broke down. I said, no, no, I, I made it. He goes, what? He looked. He said, I'll be dang. He said, Dude, how'd you get there? They didn't make it past Kentucky. I planned my route. I didn't just listen to my GPS. Sometimes your brain can work a little better in certain things. You got to use these common sense tools to go along with technology. Technology is great, but try to use other things too. Now, another good tip that I'm going to give you right here, and this is what I tell my trainees, when you're going to a shipper, you want to call them and say, hey, what's local directions in there? They know. Sometimes they have an automatic line. You call, press one of the directions. They'll say, get off I-20, right here, go around the curve, third building on the left, blah, blah, blah. You get the address off the bills, but that address may take you to the front office. Your GPS don't know the loading docks around back, empty yards down a mile down the road. You get there and you're like, oh man, I don't know where to go, what to do? And you don't have to call them anyway. So call ahead of time and find out. Also, you can go to your Google Maps. Yeah, I said Google Maps. And you can pull up a, a area, a photo of where you're at. Like, I'll blow up the area and I'll say, okay, here's the office. Looks like the loading docks are around here. Truck entrance is right here. And I'll see a satellite image of where I'm going. So that way when I get there, I already know what the color of the building is. Also, you can get ref you can get um, recommendations on there. It'll say, went there, they close early. They close at five o'clock. Or it'll say on there, oh man, terrible place to park. Don't park there. Stop at truck stop up the road. You'll see people give you recommendations by just using this tool. We live in a day with a lot of technology, so why not use it to the best of your ability? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, also, like I said, I do call ahead of time, find out if I can sleep there, if I can park there, try to find all this stuff out. I check the Google Maps. All these things will help you in the long run. Just kind of use these tools, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you got any value from this, hit that like button. But hey, if you're new to truck driving, you're looking for a company to work for, you can call Rosedale Transport. They hire a new truck driver right out of school. Also, also they do hire experienced drivers like myself, but they get you home every week. 90% drop and hook. Why would you want to work anywhere else if you could just drop your loads and then get home every week? And then make good money. They got a big sign-on bonus right now, but you got to call now. Positions are filling up fast. They're not a huge company. They got about 200 trucks. We just got about 42 brand new trucks in. These trucks are going to fill fast. So. Call right now, 706-226-1003. Ask for Tina. Tell your boy Sean sent you. Last, last tip. Now you can say, oh, I've heard this a thousand times. CB radio. You're like, CB radio, Sean, aren't they outdated? You know what? CBs are, it seems like, like a dying technology, but they're still a use for a CB radio. Let me tell you. There's big backups that you hear that happens in the wintertime and all those crashes, those pileups, 50 cars, 100 cars. If people would have their CB radio on, it wouldn't have been a hundred hundred car crash. It'd have been maybe three or four. So when I'm running in winter time, and I'm running in bad conditions, I keep my CB radio on. And if people's like, hey, there's a, there's a black eyes at the road, blah, 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 mile marker 33, I'm already ready for it. Hey man, hey, I just left that exit there. That, 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 man, you should see this, 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 this over here, man. This, this, this traffic's bad, you need to get off. I can hear these things quicker than maybe Garmin might not even pick it up. Yeah, Garmin's doing really good with traffic. They might not know on time stuff that you can hear from other truck drivers. Hey, what's going on there, driver? Uh, uh, you gotta you, let me find out about that pilot. Is it full? Yeah, that pilot's already full up, big dog. But you can go down here to the rest there. There's three spots around back. He and Varl, buddy. Good, thank you very much. Use it. Use the CB radio. These are my few tips how to never get lost. Let's recap for a minute. You gotta have an atlas. You gotta be able to read it, understand it. Get you a good GPS. Can't afford a GPS? Get you an app like hammer, like trucker path, truck stop guide, like two bucks, get you one of those pocket truck stops guide. Uh, also, part my rig book, know that. Plan your route, listen to weather locations, get a good CB radio, call your receivers, call your shippers, ask questions, ask, ask, ask. The better knowledge you are, the better you're prepared. That's why I created this channel right now, so 
I can teach you things the CDL school will not teach you. Got some value from it? Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. It's Trailing Life with Sean. Let's get it.